Okay, so this is my first run through on Smoke Gets In Your Eyes chord melody. So I composed this uh, probably about a month ago, and um, I haven't looked at it since then. So I've been doing other, other kinds of projects. So uh, what, let's just see, this will be just kind of a practice run through, and I also might uh, give some notes along the way. I'm using a Holy Grail pick. I've been as, uh, I'm on neck pickup, and I have series and parallel switches here. Volume's about eight or nine, tone is about two. So here we go. E flat, smoke gets in your eyes. E flat chord, G minor triad, and then this is kind of a pentatonic chord. E flat 13 this is kind of tricky voicing. Okay, G, uh, e flat with the G, uh, G bass. Augmented chord, augmented triad. Okay, and this is just a uh, diminished chord, yeah, but with an added note. Okay, and then a big E flat major seven chord, C minor seventh. That was supposed to be a little smoother there. Okay, let me let me go back to the C minor. Yeah, so this is supposed to be kind of an F uh, C minor F minor eleven. It's kind of tricky there. Okay. So oh yeah, it's this chord. Yeah. And okay, that's 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 off in the piano arrangement. Here, okay, and then this chord here this is a D minor seven flat five. Uh, now I'm going to do this chord here instead. Uh, eight, eight, seven, nine, six. E flat. This is the, this is from the piano range, arrangement. I change it the second time. G minor triad. So notice how I hold the chord and then I just move my fingers around the chord. Okay, here's that same, this, instead of this voicing here, the second time I use this voicing. Same notes on different strings. Kind of a partial B flat 13 chord. Okay, and then here I'm going to use uh, E flat six nine. This is this is a, a shape I use all the time. This is coming from E flat major C minor pentatonic. So it's C minor and E flat major. So my voicing is here. Okay, a little different voicing here. That's an E flat seven sharp five. A flat major seven. Okay, here's the diminished, just a, a, a typical diminished shape on the inner inner three, sh four strings. But then I'm gonna I'm gonna borrow this this note here. Okay, then a big E flat major seven chord. E, yeah, so that's that, that's kind of like a, a nice voice in there. C minor. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold, kind of, kind of hold this shape. So I was, was going to go from the C minor seven to the F minor eleven. So, and I'm going to, I'm going to sneak in that finger. I'll do that again. So C minor seven. Just a typical B flat uh, nine chord. And that's the, the, the melodic idea from the piano part. So now we have a total uh, key change here. 
I'll, I'm going to do this voicing instead. This is a typical kind of jazz voicing, root, fifth, third, and I'm just muting the fourth string. that kind of B flat shape. So the, the tricky thing I'm doing here, so I'm doing uh, three strings with the muted fourth, and then for the second note, I'm bringing my bar down. So and I'm doing the same thing again, muting here. to get that all to kind of ring ring together okay i'll do that again because that, that's actually a, a kind of a, a clever way to do that so rather than doing i could have done i could have done that but i just decided to do it with this hinge with this uh, mute it and then what's called a hinge bar and the same thing here again so mute hinge I think what I'm going to do here, I'm going to release this. See how nice that sounds? I'll do that, I'll do that second measure of that second page again. And I'm going to release the chord. And then I'm just going to let those notes kind of ring together. Okay, then we have this chord. Okay, so this is a F7, F sharp 7 uh, with a C sharp bass. And then I, what I decided to do as I was con conceptualizing this, I thought it would be interesting to do something I n normally don't do. I'm just going to do a hybrid pick on those inner, those th uh, notes in the middle of the chord, those uh, tritones. And use your diminished here. more so yeah it got this f sharp seven chord hybrid pick the middle part okay then this diminished chord and then back to this business again here so you got the mute okay what i decided to do the second time this isn't in the piano arrangement like this so i'm doing the mute and then i'm Putting my bar down, doing two strings, two strings, two strings there. So that's measure 21. I'll do that again. Okay, G sharp minor standard form. Okay, E flat. So, so the way I have the music written, I have this note and this note sustaining. So that's supposed to kind of imitate the vocal. And then this melodic idea from the piano, measure 24. The, the first part. Here I'm going to do a bigger G minor seventh chord. All right, so that's a very typical strategy that I've used in a lot of my chord melodies. So I'm, I'm, I'm taking a standard form and then I'm adding in notes of the melody with, with whatever fingers are available. So that's probably why I chose G minor seven there rather than G minor to get, give myself an extra finger or two. And this is kind of a big stretch. And now what I could have done here, I could have done the, the bottom three strings as a filler. What I decided to do instead, and this is what the piano arrangement does. It does uh, F, F minor 7 with the E flat on top. This is a, a, a voicing that the Beatles use in, I think, Julia. I think there's a, there's a voicing like this. And then you have to release here. So that's kind of like a B flat 
seven uh, sus four. Okay, then I have this chord here. All right, so to get that B flat to sustain, you have to kind of do some tricky fingerings here. Okay, then back to this chord again. This is this is kind of like the piano voicings. Here's that uh, augmented triad. a book, uh, Ed McGuire Fingerboard Harmony. He talks a lot about these, and and, and, all, and uh, George Van Epps also talks about these. There's, there's other other people too. Uh, I can't think off the top of my head. Uh, I'll do that again because that's that sort of a, so it goes. So, so, so that's what the bass is doing. So figuring out the fingering for that, I think what I decided when I was first conceptualizing this, so this is your diminished chord, okay? Then the theory is that with a diminished chord, you can take each of the notes and go up two frets and it's still considered diminished scale. Some of them sound better than others. So, so the two that you're probably gonna see the most is this one, and then also this one. So I think what works better here is to do a hinge bar. So I'm hinging up here. That gives me enough room to move my fingers around. All right, so, that, so, so what, what's, that's, that's kind of a tricky fingering there. So I'm going from a C minor standard C minor 7th chord, and I'm going into these kind of uh, Johnny Smith type chords. And then I'm going to this this chord again, which is from the piano arrangement. A little tricky to finger. F, F minor 11th. Okay, let me go back to 27th. This is a bar 29. Okay, I'm going to keep that finger there. chord here again and then to this is this is sort of an interesting voice in D F A flat C D, D, D half diminished okay then this I just made up I don't think the piano arrangement does this okay actually I'm gonna finger it like this Measure 30, 31, 32, the last line of the arrangement. Actually, let me come in from the from the uh, 27, so from measure 29 again. So you have uh, E flat major seventh. And then it's kind of hard to get that exactly there. Okay, so hopefully you found that helpful. You can see how even though I conceived of this uh, arrangement, practiced it, uh, perfected it, not having looked at it for over a month, I still was kind of struggling with it because it, it does have a lot of uh, new elements in it that I got from the piano arrangement like this idea, uh, measure three. business here four or five measures uh, five so I'm gonna go from here that's that E that's that E flat major seven chord then the C minor seven and the F minor eleven are kind of tied together here yeah I'll do that uh, 
I'll do that maybe once or twice more. So big, big stretch chord, E flat major seven. And I'm gonna keep my finger here for the C minor seventh. And then this is gonna help me set up this chord. Okay, so what I did there, so I went from this chord, F minor 11, and then I think what the, I'm pretty sure what the piano arranger does, it goes here. D, D half diminished again. So you can see there's a lot of really interesting elements. So uh, if you want a, a, a tab of this, you can go to my website uh, and there'll be a link below in the description and then you can get a, a tab of this and you can learn it uh, for yourself. Okay, thanks a lot for uh, watching and, and listening and uh, I hope you uh, appreciate this kind of uh, bare bones, me sitting down with the arrangement, uh, deconstructing it and, uh, and playing it. So just for giggles here, just to end the video, I'll just see how good I can play it. That was just one practice run through. So let's see if I can, how well I can play it. Uh, which is once, once practicing. Here we go. practice. Okay, hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching.